When we talk about the end behavior of a function, we're talking about what happens in the positive and negative infinity direction. Okay, what happens to the y values as x gets larger and larger and larger, and as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, let's take a look at this graph right here, the graph of y equals 3x squared plus 1. We see that as x gets larger and larger and larger, the function values get larger and larger and larger. We write that as follows. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. Okay, so that says, as x gets larger and larger and larger in the positive infinity direction, the function values get larger and larger and larger in the positive infinity direction. Okay, when we talk about in behavior, we also have to talk about what happens in the negative infinity direction. So as x approaches negative infinity, we see that the function values are still growing in the positive direction. So as x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches infinity, as in the case before. Okay, let's take a look at this cubic now. Okay, as x approaches infinity, in this case, the function values are going down toward negative infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, the function values are going up toward infinity. And last, the last case, let's take a look at this quartic. Okay, in this case, we see that as x goes to infinity, the function values are going down to negative infinity. So here we write negative infinity. And similarly, as x goes to negative infinity, the function values are going down to negative infinity. So you see that these, these two even degree polynomials, the end behavior is always in the same direction. Okay, that's going to be true for any even degree polynomial. For an odd degree polynomial, the end behavior is always in opposite directions, and we'll, we'll address that in a little bit. Okay, let me show you how you can find out the end behavior of a polynomial without even looking at the graph. Okay, remember for end behavior, we're talking about what happens as x goes to infinity and what happens as x goes to negative infinity. Okay, so these are very, very large values of x that are positive, and these are very, very large in magnitude, but negative x values. Okay, so for a polynomial, the, d the leading term here, 3x to the fifth, is always going to be determining the end behavior of the function. And that's because when you take a really huge number and raise it to the fifth power, that becomes completely overpowering with respect to the lower order terms, okay? So you take a million and you raise it to the fifth, that's so much larger than a million raised to the second power, or a million by itself. Okay, so these guys here are very insignificant as far as the y values of the polynomial go in the infinity and negative infinity directions. Okay, so the leading term always determines the end behavior. So let's take a look at 3x to the fifth. As x goes to infinity, like a million, a billion, a trillion, even greater than that, we take those huge, huge, huge numbers and we raise them to the fifth power. We get a really, really huge and even huger, extremely large number. We take that extremely large number and we multiply it by three and we get still an extremely large positive number. So that tells us that as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger in the positive infinity direction, this quantity here is getting bigger and bigger and bigger too. Okay, and so since this quantity here is determining the end behavior of it, we can say that the entire polynomial will go to infinity. Okay, let's see what happens when we go to when x goes to negative infinity. We take a negative number that is extremely large in value, negative a million negative a billion, negative a trillion. We raise those to the fifth power. Well, when we raise a negative number to an odd power, we get another negative number. So these numbers being raised to the fifth power are negative, but they're super huge in magnitude. So we have a super huge negative number multiplied by three is still going to be a super huge negative number. So as x gets more and more and more negative, this guy right here is going to get more and more and more negative. So the polynomial here will go toward negative infinity. So if I were to actually graph this guy, 
it would look something like this. So for large x, the function is going to infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, the function is going to negative infinity. Okay, so the, the end behavior would look something like this. Okay, here are the general observations. As I mentioned earlier, if you have an odd degree polynomial, the end behavior is always going to be in opposite directions. Which of these two it is depends on whether the leading coefficient is positive or negative. Okay, so positive, it starts going down and ends going up. For negative, it starts going up and ends going down. For an even degree polynomial, the end behavior is always the same in both directions. If the leading coefficient is positive, the function values are always going to go up because you're going to be raising a negative power to an, uh, a negative number to an even power and uh, multiplying by a positive leading coefficient. So all those y values are going to be positive in the infinity and negative infinity direction. And if you have a negative leading coefficient, those y values are going to be negative in the infinity and negative infinity direction. OK, I do want to quickly address turning points before I conclu conclude this. OK, these are uh, pretty easy. So suppose I have this polynomial here. OK, so we're going from increasing to decreasing to increasing to decreasing. We have a, a, a local or relative maximum there, local minimum, local maximum. These spots where the function goes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing are called turning points. OK, calculus will show you that the maximum number of turning points you can have is one less than the degree of the polynomial. OK, so that means if you have a degree 2 polynomial, a quadratic, you can only have at most one turning point. OK, for degree 2, you will have a turning point. For degree 3, you can have at most 2. For degree 4, you can have at most 3, and so on. 